Hey everybody, what's going on? Dangerous thing here and I am just melting. It is so hot outside. I just got back home and I just can't, I can't even, I can't even be outside right now. It is so hot out there. So I'm basically just gonna jump in, show you really quickly what took place today, earlier today, while a lot of you could have been sleeping, working, eating, drinking, traveling, taking flights on airplanes or taking trains or buses or automobiles whatever you were doing while you were at it, my amazing task force, I don't know what I would do without them, pulled some serious, serious magic. And yeah, let me tell you, I have accepted some really high level players into my task force that are higher level players than I am. And I'm fine with that. Like they are amazing, you know, boom beachers and uh, I welcome them in and they're teaching me a few lessons and, uh, Stay tuned because some incredible, mind-blowing attacks are about to come your way. Some seriously good strategy and magic took place today. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you what went down. You're not going to feel like you've wasted, you know, like uh, 15 minutes of your life. It may actually be shorter than 15 minutes. So let's jump in. Check it out. It is absolutely Awesome. Okay, so earlier today, um, we went down and we destroyed Powder Keg. Now, Powder Keg was not an easy operation. I mean, it wasn't, so it wasn't the most complicated, but it was kind of like middle of the road uh, difficulty wise. And I was a little bit concerned, you know, because we had a ton of players online uh, that were communicating with me as we were starting out the. Um, attack but uh you know there are four bases on uh this during this particular task force operation and they were seriously seriously very difficult so let me show you how it went down i'm not going to go through the entire log of everything that took place because we kind of like got together and we spoke a little bit strategy who is going to go and do what who is going to clear mines who is going to you know take down a rocket launcher so you can open up the road for your next team player because that's when you do when you are a task course you're a team so you stick to the guns and you do what's best for your team okay so I obviously am the leader of this task force which is mind-boggling because a lot of these guys are like 10 times better than I am so I went first and I went down to quota quota was the uh, second difficulty level on this particular map I believe uh, yes, it was. And let me show you what happened. So I had a combination of heavies, uh, medics, I had Zookas, and I had some riflemen. So uh, as some of you have pointed out, that's my typical combination. I'm kind of really comfortable playing with it. So I'm going to challenge myself in the next couple of days and throw it out a little bit, you know, mix and match, and maybe just do like all one troops, you know, uh, here and there and see how that's going to work out because I have to push myself out of my comfort level. So that's who I descended with. Uh, and let me show you what happened. I am gonna just speed it up and show you what went down. That shock, that shocker, sh shock it launcher <laughs> was so freaking massive. I literally got my ass handed to me. If you want to see it again, I wasn't in the game for more than 30 seconds. I Descended my troops. Look at that. 37 seconds into the game, all of my troops were gone. I caused barely any damage to a single defense building on this map. And so, naturally, I got pretty pissed off with myself. I got really hard on myself. I was like, what the hell did I do? I am a total loser. And blah, 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 blah. But as some of my team players have pointed out, that was a very high uh, level base and I haven't actually played that high of a base before. Uh, so they were like, listen, chill, you know, cool your jets, you're gonna get better, it's totally fine. Uh, you know, you went there first, like a total commander and blah, blah, blah. I think they were just trying to be nice to me, you know, but I really appreciated it. I really kind of happy to see that my test course is very like, relax and lay back and we're not just all like oh I need those OPs I need those OPs because I want to have fun I want all of you guys to have fun I don't want this to be stressful because you know there are a lot of stresses out there in the world as is so I don't want this to become another stressor in your life so yeah that was my giant failure so basically from there on I couldn't attack anymore and let me show you what 
uh, G Boy 22 did. That guy, I have to tell you, just take a look and take this in because it is beautiful. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit through this part right here. What he does is he basically goes in the left flank so that his uh, scorchers and his tanks are outside of the range of all of the uh, uh, defense buildings. He gets on the a corner of the left flank and he takes down a bunch of uh, little power crystals, power buildings, core crystals, whatever you call those things. And then he basically just you know goes down and he takes down those mortars and he uh, once again does a really good job um, you know directing or redirecting his troops from the uh, defense buildings to where they are uh, you know in, in in the reach of some of them but they're not causing enough damage to take them down and he just you know he just goes goes hot goes super hard on that power core and next time you guys are saying you know going ham on something you should just think of this image like that right there was going ham on the power core. I'm gonna show this one more time just because it was totally beautiful. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm a little bit of a Boom Beach nerd. So yeah, I mean, totally beautiful. Avoiding, you know, just being really, really smart about directing his troops and being super smart about staying outside of the range of, uh, of those um, buildings that are causing a ton of splash damage. We all know that tanks are super powerful to cannons and boom cannons, so he's doing a fantastic job making sure that they are outside of the range of those giant, you know, maxed out boom cannons. And just like that, you know, he takes down the power core. It was absolutely beautiful. I cannot believe that, you know, he took down one of the highest difficulty level bases in the entire test corp test force operation all by himself, absolutely flawless, 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 flawless planning, flawless attack. He is totally awesome. I actually, right after this took place, I chatted all of my uh, task force members. I was like, I am pretty sure I just found my soulmate, you guys. He is awesome. I don't even know you. I don't know who you are, G-Boy, but you are awesome. Total hero in my book total hero and I hope 22 is your age so you're not like tiny little and you know I'm flirting with a minor <laughs> okay so just like that g-boy 22 uh giant shout out to him he took down um you know one of the most difficult bases of the entire task force op then the epic phoenix uh he basically we kind of came up with a strategy where we left some notes and we said go ahead and try to take down some of the mines so that someone who's got a ton of warriors can then you know direct the warriors straight to the core so what he did is he took down all those mines in the beginning with um with his barrage and then he uh you know he throws his troops on the right gets annihilated right away but he did what he was told he took down uh the the um uh, mines at the front of the base and then right after epic uh liz jumps into the attack and here is what liz does our uh, next mission was take down uh all the mines around the core because we are going to try to get our uh warriors straight down to the core and you know have them just go crazy at it so he did a really good job taking out the majority of the mines right by the core and uh basically you know, tried to redirect Hizukas outside of the range of those giant boom cannons, cannons, and machine gun, and did a pretty great job. He cleared up a whole lot on, on the right flank, just so that the next team member can go at it and do what we plan to do. So, total awesome job, Liz. I love when people actually are team players, and they're not going to just, like, want to show off and, uh, you know, stick with the plan. So, after that, Naughty Zarat uh, went in, and here's what he did. Let me show you. So he actually won on quota. You remember that base where I descended my troops and got my ass handed to me in the first 37 seconds of the attack? So what he did is he took down some of the mines by the beginning of the base and right over there uh, on the back flank of the uh, base and he directs his uh, Zookas and heavies right on the uh, right hand side corner of the building. They're going to take down some of the uh, power cores and they're going to try to make their way closer to the main power core crystal. Is it just power core? I keep saying crystal. I don't know why I'm thinking crystal. So yeah, he basically did a really good job uh, taking down those 
um, you know, those crystals, which help him with the, uh, with the uh, HP, health, uh, whatever you want to call it. So he then redirects them again, and he's got only 49 seconds left. He is definitely not going to have enough time to go at the power core, but what he's going to do is he's going to try to clear that up right there. So he takes down one flamethrower, which is fantastic, because uh, the next person who goes after him will definitely, definitely appreciate that. So thank you so much, Naughty Zerat. That was a great attack. And then look at that. Uh, let me see if I pronounce it right. He said, you say, Tal Ha. Right? I hope Talha is how you pronounce it, and if it's not, then you better send me an audio file so I don't keep mispronouncing your name because I hate doing it because people mispronounce my name all the time, and I hate it. Okay, so let me show you what this sir there accomplished. It was absolutely fantastical. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump in and spectate. So um, Talha was the one who basically asked other uh, team members to get down there and take down... Um, Mines, uh, uh, mines by the core because he plays um, hardcore with um, with his warriors. Let me actually start this over because I didn't show it from the beginning. He, uh, what he did is he took all of his warriors. He descended them right over here on a uh, right hand side of the base, and he directed them right away outside of the reach of all of the defense buildings. They run all the way up here, go crazy on those little crystals, and then they were gonna go for um, towers, for a, um, for rifleman towers, but he basically just directs them to the core, and look at that. Just like that, he takes down the core. One attack, but three attacks in the making, awesome teamwork. Talha, you are amazing as well. Uh, definitely, he keeps kind of popping in and out of my task force, but I kind of wish he was a permanent member. He's really, really great team member to have on the team. He's just really, really strategical and obviously has really high level troops. So now let's jump in and see what Jan Nikas did. Uh, I don't know if your name is Nicholas or you were going for something else here, but I hope I pronounce your Nick properly. So uh, uh, you just had a very specific tactic here. Uh, he basically directs his Zookas outside of the reach of all of the defense buildings and he sends them all the way to the right flank and uh, they kind of, you know, a few of them got taken down by the giant boom mine over there and they get back to uh, the core and a few of them sort of went into a wrong direction and right now they're totally out of the reach of everything. So. Uh, the flamethrower, if you remember, in the previous uh, attack got taken down and all of the mines are taken down. Um, you know, they're far enough to where nothing is hitting them and just like that, they are pounding their way at the core and the core goes down. So with that said, we now have three bases out of four down and the fourth one was definitely a lot of fun because check this out, it took five people to get it down. Okay, so first we had Ape Libra who uh, went down and he had very, very low level troops and, you know, uh, he just did his absolute best and didn't last a whole lot longer than I did. You know, we probably lasted like 30, you know, 30 to 60 seconds combined together, but, um, you know, it was a beautiful attack. And then Jonathan, 39, Jonathan then goes ahead and he attacks and what he does over here is he throws a barrage to try to take down those rocket launchers, takes down successfully one of them, and he directs his troops to the right side of the flank. They're going to try to take down uh, these machine guns over here, and they do so successfully. And then out of the way of all of the defense buildings they go, he tries to direct them right to the right so that they can sneak through, cause a little bit of damage, and uh, basically just make their way to where they can get some free regen health and, um, yeah. That was the tactic, and he's got, at this point, two, four, six, eight, ten Zookas left in the game, and uh, he's just gonna try to go as hard as he possibly can. Uh, he's got a minute and a half left, and he is getting taken down by those um, uh, sniper towers because they have fantastic reach, and as soon as Zookas get a little bit closer, they're definitely gonna get wiped out. So this was his attempt to uh, help us to clear up black river and there there it is so thank you so much for participating then we have general hasin 
who uh, I, I really, really love. He's a great team member. He's very talkative and he's very enthusiastic. He's sort of a, he's kind of a, the guy who keeps our spirits up on the team. Uh, not to take away from his ability to play Doom Beach or anything, but he definitely is a fantastic team member in that sense. Nothing but positivity. I love you, man. You're great. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll stay in my test course for a long, long time. So, he basically descended with a ton of Zookas with some heavies that are obviously going ahead of Zookas, trying to protect the ladies. And he clears up this uh, flank over here really, really nicely. Zookas are going to be super vulnerable to rocket launcher, and basically, he does a really great job cleaning up the right flank so that the next person can come in. So Big Tough comes in and at this point we took down uh, almost half of the uh, you know health I guess or uh, OP points from this base so as you can see the area that that cleaned up pretty nicely is you know great way to uh, sort of direct your troops there and uh, obviously Big Tough also didn't last very long but every little piece every little bit of it definitely counted i can't speak right now gosh darn it okay and then we have mr chivilage i don't know how to pronounce it um i think you should guys send me phonetical pronunciations of your names and what he does is he comes in with zookas and heavies and he basically directs them straight to the core he shocks the buildings on the right and down it goes. The core is up in flames. So that was my uh, test core operation for today. Powder cap went down. We got 415 out of 415 OP points, which was absolutely fantastic. Amazing teamwork, great time. Thank you guys so much for participating. For all of you guys that have sent requests to me to be accepted into task force, I now have an officer too. So if I'm not online, you could be accepted. So if you're still looking for a task force, if you're still looking for home, for forever home, we will definitely love to take a look at you and hopefully you'll be as happy with us as I am currently with all of the team players on my team, Dangerous Things. So check us out. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Give thumbs up to my guys who participated in this task force. They were totally awesome they totally carried me through the attack and amazing tactics amazing coordination thank you so much for watching cannot wait to bring you more of these and until next time dangerous thing is out